So you want to build yourself a creative PC. Perhaps your budget is roughly around $2,500 to $3,500 and you don't want to waste any money. You want the best bang for your buck. Well, that video here is for you. We're going to be showing you the parts, how to upgrade, best practices, as well as all the guides you need to build yourself the best PC. And do you know what else we have for you? This sponsor segment. SkyTech Gaming makes the PC building easy. In fact, we're giving away one for free. Choose a pre-built system or configure it to your needs. A PC solution to fit any of your budgets. SkyTech Gaming prides itself with excellent customer service and an amazing community of people. Check out their weekly PC giveaways down below. One of my favorite mid-range PCs for creators is one called Shiva. With i5, 12600K, RTX 3060 Ti, Z690 motherboard and DDR5 memory. It's not just powerful but also affordable. Another noteworthy PC is Cronus which received It's Better Than Dalk by Steve from Gamers Nexus. After Steve's review, that Cronus became the most sold system on their website. By the way, Skytech Gaming is about to launch their creator line of PCs called Skytech Pro. So learn more about that in the description below as well as the Shiva and Kronos PCs. Thanks Skytech Gaming for sponsoring this video. So five very important things before we get started with the parts. Number one, if you have a different budget than what we have in here, I've got a few lower end budget videos that are already in this series. This is gonna be four plus one video series for your best bang for work PC build late 2022. So check out the playlist and click on the video that's closest to your budget because I promise you one of the videos will be able to configure the PC to your budget and you can get the best performance for your budget. If you don't know how to build it, there's going to be build guides in the description below where you can easily follow them and build this PC for yourself. Secondly, if you don't know how to configure it, like the software, fans and drivers and BIOS and all that, there's going to be another guide for you in the description below. So everything you need to build the PC, you can find the build guides in the description below. And fourthly, if you want to get the parts and you don't know where should I get them, then I'm going to leave the links for everything that I'm talking about in the description below so you don't have to worry about is this the right thing that I'm looking at over here? Then if you go through the links in the description below then you can arrive at the right place kind of to get the right part what you'll be looking for and it's also going to give you an option to go to a different shop so check out those different shops just so you can get the best price for you and you're not going to lose any dollars and you can spend it in the right place and the surprise thing for you if you wait till the end of the video and perhaps you've already seen on the previous videos on this channel if you haven't yet and this is the first one you're looking at then there's going to be a surprise thing coming up on the channel more about it in the end of the video and the question that i probably are going to get in the comments which is what about ryzen 7000 and intel's 13th gen the problem with these things is that they're going to be launched in a moment by the time i'm making this video when new things are going to be launched there's going to be early adapters issues so if you're a creator and you're working on these projects here and you're actually earning money with your PC, then I don't really recommend going with the latest and greatest very, very quickly jumping the ship just because you might be doing a lot more troubleshooting than you actually think or want to do. That's why we're going with this 12th gen right here and this is like a little bit of a previous generation or the end of kind of one generation just because it's matured. We're not going to have that many issues. There's good prices because they're lower than the MSRP and if the new generation is going to come out, the MSRP for these older generation is going to drop even more which means you get just better bang for your buck. That's why we're going with this. Now the parts. So for motherboard now, we are actually upgrading it to Gigabyte Aero DZ690 motherboard, which supports DDR5. And now this is a serious creator motherboard. And by serious, I mean, it's got 10 gigabit ethernet. When you see this included on the motherboard, it's quite a high-end motherboard. And that like port on its own is gonna cost you $100 if you wanna buy it separately or add it later on into your system. And to have that already included, that makes the motherboard price already, whoa quite affordable. It's going to have a lot of PCI Gen 4 storage, four slots. We're going to have super fast connectivity of USB in the back as well as USB-C outputs, Thunderbolt. We've got fast USB-C front panel connectivity as well as other front panel ports. Everything you need as a creator, we've got it over there and it actually looks very, very nice 
as well. For the CPU, we're going to be keeping it as i7-12700K. That 12 cores is going to be absolutely amazing, plus the iGPU inside for video editing, very fast multi-core performance and single core performance. It's going to be fantastic for you, no matter what you do really, but it's really going to shine at video and photo editing or any design work you're going to be doing or audio. Well, let's see, it's going to be absolutely great for that. The only like maybe a slight downside for this is the 3D. If you're doing long 3D renders on the CPU, which I don't think a lot of people do, then this is not the best CPU for your buck, but just go with the GPU acceleration for the renders and that's gonna be a much different version, but your scenes are still gonna be very, very fast when working around just because of the single core performance. Now, I said we're still gonna go with i7. It's because I'm referencing the previous videos about this Creator PC. And for the cooler, we're using the same cooler as in the previous previous budget, the Thermal Ride PLS Assassin 120. This cooler is a very, very good air cooler, so you don't need to worry about any liquid dripping or anything like that. And it's very, very powerful. Like it actually competes and sometimes even precedes some of the air coolers that are much more expensive, like more than double the price. So it's a very, very, very high end cooler and very good best bang for your buck. You also have a lot of different colors available. So if you want to choose, you know, the color for your PC theme, you can do that as well. For the SSD, we're going to be using one terabyte Kydea Z440 drive. So it's a Gen 4 drive, super fast, 4.5 gigabytes per second, very fast, the random read and write speeds, $100, hard to beat for that price, fantastic drive. For SSD number two, for project drive then, we're going to be using Crucial P3 2 terabyte drive. So this is going to be Gen 3 drive, but for the price, we're going to get a lot of performance and it's very unlikely that you're going to need really in a real world more performance than that, like 3000 plus megabytes per second read and write speeds. This is absolutely fantastic. Now SSD 3, we're going to add extra SSD as well. So the third SSD is going to be Silicon Power US 72 terabyte drive as well. So this is going to be Gen 4 drive. 4.5 roughly gigabytes per second read and write speeds but also very high terabytes written spec so if you're working with with very large assets or video files then dropping these on that ssd and writing these ssd cells over and over and over again is going to be very very good because the per terabyte written spec is uh, 1,800 terabytes written per one terabyte so now our two terabyte drive is going to be 3.6 thousand terabytes written over five years and because our motherboard supports ddr5 for ram we're using 64 gigabytes of corsair vengeance ddr5 5200 megahertz and that's going to cost us roughly around 300 dollars at the moment it's like very very good deal it's not going to cost that much extra if you compare ddr4 to this ddr5 and i think it's definitely worth it you're going to see extra up to 10% uh, you know, performance increase depending what you do versus TDR4. And for the GPU, on that department, we're gonna be using Asus TUF RTX 3080 12 gigabyte version. And this at the moment costs $750. And bear in mind, this is the 12 gigabyte version because you can get also an RTX 3080, but the 10 gigabyte version, but the extra two gigabytes VRAM it's going to be very, very good performance for you. It's going to cost extra like 20, 30, 40 dollars or something like that. But that two gigabytes might be necessary for you if you're doing multicam edits, for example, and mix resolution video editing or 4K, 4K, 60, 6K or something like that. Or maybe perhaps a little bit of 8K, 6K. Then the VRAM is going to be very, very good and color grading. And in DaVinci Resolve, we love more VRAM. So that's why we're going to be going with this one rather than the 10 gigabyte version. If you don't find this particular GPU in stock, I'm going to leave some alternatives there as well in the description. You can find it. Basically, any of them will work for you. The PSU is going to be EVGA G5 850 watt PSU. This is going to be 80 plus gold uh, power efficiency rating. So we're not going to lose that much power here because in the Western world right now with the electricity prices, it's important to get efficient things as well, because in the end of the day, if you do a lot of work as a creator at nine to five, then uh, you're going to, you know, pay the price later on on your electricity bill. But 
850 watts, plenty of power to power everything that we have and even an upgrade there for some of the things. Modular power supply, quiet, uh, eco mode, everything we need to power this PC and do it well. Very high quality power supply as well, like 10 plus years of warranty, which, you know, you know, it's going to be great. The case we're going to be using is Corsair 4000D. It's very nice looking case, good airflow. It actually has included fans as well, but we're going to be adding extra fans there. We're going to add extra six fans from Arctic and we're going to use the Arctic P12 0DB 120 millimeter fans and there's going to be a three pack for that which is going to cost $50 or so but we're going to get two of those and you can get them in black and white so depending on your PC case because that PC case can come in black or white you can go with these fans and then get extra airflow to cool down your GPU and motherboard and all the other components and altogether this PC is going to cost you roughly around $2,545 at the time of making this video now check out the prices and latest prices in the description below because you might be getting this even cheaper if you want to upgrade for motherboard this is not necessarily here now but it's going to give you a little bit of an upgrade maybe perhaps in quality and uh, some of the user friendliness of the um, you know motherboard some of the things are a little bit better like a front panel usb-c port now with this motherboard it's going to be a quick charge 4 compatible so you get like very fast you know usb-c uh, charging there as well but this is the asus z690 pro wide creator wi-fi with 6e wi-fi so you get wi-fi 6e first of all there as well which is going to be nice if you have 6e you get more kind of channels for wi-fi very fast it's going to cost you extra 160 dollars and i can see if you can't justify that I completely understand but if you want the best creator motherboard then i do think this asus z690 creator wi-fi a pro art creator wi-fi is going to be the best creator um, motherboard you can get but feel free to keep it as the gigabyte uh, aero d as well depending if you go a little bit more with the white theme you're not going to lose you know any performance or a little bit of the connectivity both of them very very similar depending where you want to spend your money for cpu we're going to be upgrading that to i9 12900k from the i7 and that's going to cost you extra 180 dollars something like that and now we're going to get 16 cores so we get eight performance cores eight efficiency cores it's going to be absolutely killer cpu when doing video editing photo editing you know designing 2d even 3d if you don't do rendering on it it's going to be very 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 good you know working with scenes the single core performance is going to be as good as it can get pretty much and just the cores and the fastness of the cores is just fantastic. We're still going to get the same iGPU as the i7, but that's going to be very good for you as a video editor. If you're doing any of that, it can get you up to 40% extra performance in the timeline, depending, um, you know, which codex you're going to be using. But it is very very big performance increase that you can go for because we're going with the i9 which might be a little bit of a difficult guy to cool we're going to upgrade our cooler a little bit to the deep cool ls 720 360 millimeter aio it's going to cost us extra 101 dollars but for the price it's still very very good cooler for the price we're not going to go with anything ridiculous like the Fantex Glacier 1 or Asus ROG Ryujin or MSI Core Liquid or something like that that's going to be like twice as much or even more than that it's still going to get us a lot of performance looks nice you get RGB if you like that or not you can change the fans whatever or turn it off but it's still going to be very very good cooler we're not going to be upgrading the uh, SSDs you can get more of them because you do have four slots or get everything you know PCI Gen 4 and so on so you can upgrade them if you want to you know you're better off spending the money somewhere else unless you do need higher or better project drives or ssds then go with that and for the ram we're going to keep it the same as well not really worth upgrading this for this price point what we are going to be upgrading though is the gpu for the gpu we're going to be using the rtx 3090 and now we're going to get the double the amount of vram 24 gigabytes which is going to be very very good for you 3d guys uh you know video editors who actually use that vram it's going to be very very nice and our gpu power is going to be much much better than rtx 3080 as well so we're going to get extra 20 10 20 percent performance increase depending what you're doing or so on that is up to 
that performance but probably the vram is going to be the nicest thing upgrade that you're going to get depending what you're working on the power supply also needs to be upgraded really when you go with an rtx 3090 you can get it to work with a 850 watt as well but i think it's a little bit more breathing room when we go with 1000 watt we're going to go with evj g5 supernova p5 1000 watt power supply and it's not just going to be upgrading the wattage of the power supply but also the power efficiency so this is now 80 plus platinum which means that because our pc uses more power if it's 100 percent utilized we're actually being more efficient and we're not gonna lose any electricity that you're gonna pay for which is very important considering the electricity bills we have here right now the pc case i'd recommend upgrading as well to corsair 5000d it's slightly bigger now but you get better cooling performance there more fan mounting more radiator support and so on so we we can like kind of work around a little bit more it looks very nice as well you can get it at white and black that's going to cost us extra 45 dollars the fans we're going to leave the same you can get extra fans as well if you want to because the corsair 5000d airflow really has extra three fan slots in the side of this as well for extra airflow so we're not going to be doing that and now all the upgrades if you went with every single one of those upgrades that's going to cost us extra $876 and in total $3,481. So if your budget is roughly up to this point, then that's what I'd recommend you to do. If your budget is around $4,000 or stretching to $4,000, then stop right here and then check out the next video because then we're going to talk about the $4,000 kind of price point. If you're getting like roughly 3.5K, you know, budget, then this is what I would do maybe perhaps you want to add a little more ssds and configure that to your workflow but these are the upgrades that i would be doing and the pc would be absolutely killer 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 pc and now the surprise thing then the giveaway pc we have reached 100k recently and i've been working behind the scenes to actually build one of you's a killer pc as well we're going to be doing that as the fifth video in this video series and we're going to be doing this live so stay tuned for that. If you want to learn more about the giveaway or actually win the PC, then there's going to be more information in the description below. Just enter and sign up for the giveaway so you can actually be one of the people who, who get this PC. Oh, and excitingly, I have some last minute developments. In fact, we're actually giving away two PCs, one in the UK and one in the US. So definitely check out the details in the description below because it's going to be absolutely amazing. I can't wait to give this to you. There's going to be a few more extras there as well so whoever's gonna get it is gonna be absolutely over the moon so that's that check out the giveaway in the description below and if you haven't subscribed yet consider subscribing because more videos like these are coming out every single week likes and subs and see you soon bye bye